human embryonic development includes stages like fertilization, cleavages, morula, formation of the blastocyst, implantation, then finally the gastrulation. In the process of gastrulation, three different germ layers are formed. They differentiate and form various different organs. So first we start with the fertilization. So the site of fertilization is the ampullary isthmic junction of the fallopian tube. Fertilization is a process where the union of male and female gametes takes place and their pronuclei will fuse which results in the formation of secondary uh, formation of zygote which is diploid. After the fertilization it is followed by cleavages. Cleavages are the vertical furrows which divide the zygote into number of cells. So the first cleavage furrow is called as the meridional as because it the first cleavage furrow proceeds from animal to vegetal axis or from the center of the zygote. So this first cleavage furrow results in formation of two cells which is completed 30 hours after fertilization. First cleavage furrow is followed by the second. Second cleavage furrow is also meridional which divide the zygote into four cells. This is followed by third cleavage which is horizontal to the second cleavage results in formation of eight cells. After this remaining all cleavage furrows are non-specific and during cleavage all these divisions are mitotic divisions and the resultant cells are called as the blastomeres and there is no growth in the resulting blastomeres the size and volume of the embryo remains same during all cleavages and there is no increase in the mass of the cytoplasm of the developing embryo but there is a marked increase in the DNA of the developing embryo. So cleavages will follow to the next stage which is called morula. So 8 to 16 cell stage is called as morula. In this stage the cells are arranged and resembles like mulberry the stage is called as the morula stage. So the outer cells which are smaller cells which are called trophoblasts and the round cells are inner cell mass. These trophoblast cells are with tight junctions and inner cell mass is with gap junctions. In the morula stage the embryo is still surrounded by zona pellucida. So now the morula slowly descends into the uterus within 4 to 6 days after fertilization. When once the morula reaches into the uterine cavity it is I mean exposed to a nutrient enrichment area. Then the morula gets transforms into blastocyst. During this blastocyst formation whatever the outer trophoblast cells are present these cells will flatten and form a layer called trophoblast layer and this inner cell mass is called so called as the formative cell mass which gives rise to the developing embryo or which forms the embryo in future then they develops a cavity in the middle which is called as the blastocyst the still zona pellucida can be visualized in this stage right this blastocyst formation is very peculiar in case of all mammals whereas in case of other vertebrates this is called as the blastula but in mammals this is called the blastocyst now due to the increasing i mean cell mass it is subjected to pressure due to that pressure the zona pellucida will i mean uh, ruptures and so this entire blastocyst squeezes out right now when once the blastocyst squeezes out the trophoblast cells will get directly exposed to the endometrial wall now this trophoblast cells aggressively divide and they secrete lytic enzymes with the help of these lytic enzymes the trophoblast cells will i mean digest the endometrial wall they will lyse the endometrial wall and so that this blastocyst is completely buried in the endometrium 
you can find out here now so when once this complete blastocyst is buried in the endometrium so then the trophoblast cells now will start dividing aggressively and they form layers where they form the outermost layer which is called as the syncytial trophoblast and the layer which is below the syncytial trophoblast is called cytotrophoblast syncytial trophoblast will secrete human chorionic gonadotropin which maintains the corpus luteum and also the syncytial trophoblast secretes progesterone human placental lactogen whereas the cytotrophoblast helps in the process of implantation and forms the villi and is useful for i mean attaching to the uterine cavity